what's good with y'all gang let me get you set up real quick hold on all right today i got a vlog for y'all and i started doing this thing where i record places or things that i'm doing in case i want to throw it into a vlog so really this is just like a compilation of those the reason i got y'all set up like this is because a lot of the clips don't really have context so i'm gonna try to narrate it a little bit so cracking it off i walked my first fashion show a little over a month ago which is crazy um i've done a lot of like modeling officially but i don't think that i ever walked a show as far as i'm concerned but basically my boy solid day who i actually met through styling i actually assisted him with wardrobe a couple of times which came out fire by the way if you guys ever want to check it out yeah i don't even know i'll be working on a lot of low-key projects but that's not what we're talking about today but he has a brand that him and his homie jordan created called seasons jode so he hit me to model their flash mob show which is different from a regular show but i'll get into more of that later but basically the day started early in the a.m all the models met downtown and we basically had a rehearsal like an hour before the show which i kid you not was a little hectic to go over what's what but honestly i think it's all kind of part of the art of a flash mob show so we were told to wear all black which is why we look all synchronized but once we got there we split off into groups in order to coordinate like the different walking patterns we had to do basically the reason for this is because there is art installations involved so the goal is to flash mob the broad which is an art museum in downtown LA if any of y'all have ever been here but the idea was basically to enter into the museum as different groups to just look at art right almost the same as like a school field trip or something like that except for we're secretly there to walk the museum as a runway so it's almost like a live performance in the art museum as live art which is genius so after the rehearsal we all went over our looks there was multiple different combinations of garments that they designed for the show then we collectively headed over to the garage near the broad in order to like plan our entrance so to speak after that we basically entered and started the show that joint did go smooth i ain't gonna lie i think security caught on near the end but by that time it was too late and we was already on our way out low-key i was scrolling through tiktok and i'll try to plug it in here but it was pretty funny because one of the security guards was caught speaking on the walkie talkie saying that yo they're running the fashion show it's pretty wild hey everyone this is sound of their large group uh but moving on into the timeline a little bit after that i went shopping at a place that's kind of low-key like i think not too many people know about this store even if they live in la i don't really see a lot of people go here but we're going to talk about that all right so right now i'm gonna head to terminal 27 my boy that works there said that they just recently got some new stuff in so i'm gonna check out what they got so this is kind of like so this is kind of like a low-key spot um you really only would know it if you know the address and know where to come there's no like big sign out on it anymore but nonetheless we're gonna go in and check out what they got what's good my boy what's good my guy i didn't even know the door opened like that what's good fam what's up man what's up bro appreciate <laughs> it that's some new heat, huh? A little bit, a little bit of chaos and balance, you know? What's up? Did you cop these two yet? Yeah, yep, yep. That's a sell, yeah. Yeah. Joyce, Joyce is dumb long, though. This is like my first time really like wearing them. They finna get torched. Yeah, he stay fresh. You know, he's got <laughs> but once you I try. It, it's just gonna, it's gonna get better, better. Yeah, yeah. Even if it like rips up, I think the dress uh -huh. gonna be, the dress gonna be hard. Yeah. Nah, honestly, I'm just out vlogging, bro. So that's why I'm. Okay. All right, bet. Also, this is not, this is not the new, the new stuff you're talking about. 
So the store is super crispy in the inside if you haven't been there before, but basically I just grabbed a few things to try on while I was there. First was this Eckhaus Lada, if that's how you pronounce the brand, but this jacket was hard. It had different buttons in order to make it a vest if you want. But next was for show my favorite joint. I really wanted to walk out, but this wasn't released yet. So couldn't do that. It was by Ann Bush though, and it looks like two separate pieces but it's one, which is fire. Then I tried on this layered shirt hoodie type of thing from Margiela, which I wasn't really feeling, I'm gonna be honest, it looked a lot cooler on the rack. After that though, I tried on this set by Nabacheco. The top was super unique. It seemed like one of those things that was very occasional though. The shape of the shorts, was really nice and I might try to grab those later down the line. And then lastly, I tried on this Vivian Westwood denim jacket with like hella zippers on it. I then left there and then I went to the Rick store because what's a real shopping outing if you don't head to the Rick store? So did that. They had a few new things in different colorways, but nothing like too, too crazy. They did have this cool installation though that had like this crazy dress on it, which was fire. And I know some of y'all that live in LA might know this, but right next door to that is Jet Rags, which is like a vintage curated thrift store, I guess you could say. So I went there to see if I could find something. I haven't been in there in such a long time, nor have I really been thrifting in a while, but here is where I ended up scooping the Bauhaus t-shirt that I showed y'all in the last haul. Then lastly, which actually in timeline speaking was before all of this, I ended up linking with the boy Keezy. So he was down here for, I think it was the hidden pop-up, which I actually was supposed to go to but I ended up not making the drive. It was like two hours for me after I ended up putting in my GPS. So I was like, ah. I might have to pass this one time. But he was in LA and was out shopping. So I ended up meeting him out shopping. We ended up going to Ace Lorenzo, the one over in... I guess they're both kind of like Hollywood locations, but the one that's like by the Chrome Heart store. We got Keezy in the cut, man. I ain't even, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even been recording. My boy is here. Nice to meet you finally. Of course, bro. It's been forever, man. Way too long, but we Five years since I've known who you were. Yeah, for sure. Same, same. For sure. My boy. They be going crazy, bro. Isn't that the first Fentmon collab they did with them was where they chopped it up? It was like it was like patchwork with different bombers and then they put them all together. Was that Alpha Industries or? Yeah, Alpha Industries and Vetmon, I think. The one that Ye wore on Infowars, remember that? Yeah, I do. You know what I'm talking about, right? Where he's just like, I love. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was watching, but. No, yeah, I think that was the first. That was the first one they did. That kind of looked like this. And then that's, yeah. I think they had it uh, hung up on New York when I went to the Alpha Industries pop-up. It was pretty dope. So there's two yeah, versions. That's two versions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That thing is special. But I mean, Bet Mom, bro, they've been just redoing the same shit. Yeah. How much is this forever. one? Yeah. It's probably like four racks, bro. Yeah. It's like 333. Then my brother runs in that, right? This is yeah. like the back is even. I like this. Yeah, that one is like like ventilation or something like very horrible after that we headed to this korean spot after to just kind of like chill eat vibe out um the food was pretty fire not gonna lie like it was one of them authentic joints now i know this was kind of a quick one but that's pretty much everything at least what i can show right now i have been working on some personal projects for like the brand and stuff like that as well as some styling here and there so whenever more of that stuff drops you guys will be able to get more clips and vlogs and videos and stuff like that but if you guys like this style of vlogs i'm kind of always randomly recording so if you do like this i think this might be an easy avenue for me to try to do so comment down below and let me know what y'all think down in the comments follow my instagram if you haven't yet but that's pretty much it man i'll be back to you on war man peace <laughs>